I see them all over the place. Are you? Has it been sort of constant order since this whole thing started? It has been constant, but it, uh, like I said, it's a small portion of our business. How'd you get the Trump gig? He's been uh, a customer for 10 years, and when they came to us earlier this year, uh, they gave us a slogan. We created uh, his personal hat, and uh, just once he wore it, things took off. So, at a place where you got 80% Latino workforce, you got a guy Trump who's kind of controversial in the Latino community. Uh, how'd you approach that with your workers? Well, I basically told them up front that we're going to be doing this order. We're going to be uh, working a lot of overtime, and. We know that it is controversial, but it's it's an order, and we would take any any basic order to keep the the workflow going. What is your uh, you know family lineage history? Mexican. Mexican. And how about you? Hispanics. Um, we're all born here in the United States. When you heard the Trump, you're going to make the hats for Trump. What was the first thought that went through your mind? Uh, more work for us. Some of the stuff that he said, it's not been particularly nice to the Latino community. Um, when you guys hear some of that stuff, what do you what, what do you think? I just try to ignore it. Yeah. Just, just work. Trump says, as he said, uh, Hispanics love me. Is that true? No comment. No comment. How about you? No comment on that also. No comment on that one? You got any comments? No, I got no comment. on that one. Would you say you're living the American dream? Yes. Why not? Yes and, yes and no? Yes, yes and no. One of Donald Trump's uh, messages is he wants to bring business back to the United States. How difficult is it to be in the garment business in America, in Southern California? Uh, it is extremely difficult. You know, our jobs have gone, obviously, overseas to Asia. In the 90s, when everybody left to China, we joined them. But at the same time, we kept our factory. A lot of our employees have, have worked for us since the beginning or for the last 20 years. And we've kept them going through the American-made product. If Donald Trump came here and he wanted to see you guys making the hats, um, what would you say to the guy? We Can will. I take a picture with you? <laughs> Can I take a picture with you? Do I look like Trump? No. You're, 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 you're looking no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I look better than Trump. I'll accept the compliment. Uh, the Trump campaign has actually spent more than $270,000 at this hat factory making these hats, according to the latest campaign finance report. That is more money than the Trump campaign has spent on anything else save two other campaign expenses, one with another apparel company and the other to fund the famous Donald Trump private jet. I also should note that Brian Kennedy, who's the president of Cali Fame, who I talked to in the piece, he says that all of his workers in his factory have legal immigration status. They are all documented. And he told the LA Times that this order has resulted resulted in lots of overtime for those workers. Mm -hmm. So the workers and the owner at the factory, whatever their politics are, are grateful for the business there. I did reach out to the Donald Trump campaign to see if they had any comment about my visit, and I have not heard back yet, Francis. Yeah, it is business, supply and demand, and as long as he's in the race, there will be that demand. MSNBC's Jacob Soberoff. Appreciate an interesting piece. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Soberoff. Thank you so much for checking out our MSNBC YouTube channel. You know the drill. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest MSNBC breaking news, our mini docs, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives.